Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. And 2022 is going to be the year of the curls. You're going to get more curls than you could stand. It's not cute, not knowing. It is time to know. I've got so much to share with you guys, but let's start off with a hug. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Um, today is the absolute last day you can eat leftovers. <laughs> there, there comes a time when you have to stop, either freeze or make soup. But today is, today is really, if you're still eating it tomorrow and the day after, you're going to get sick. And that's all I'm going to say. That's just a little bit of auntie advice. But I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. I cooked a lot. I did get, I did get some rest. I did get my Spider-Man tickets. <laughs> Spider-Man tickets went on sale at midnight. No Way Home is the new Spider-Man movie. Comes out December 17th. And they're saying that Tom Holland is going to sign on to do three more Spider-Man movies. But yeah, that was like it in a nutshell. But I got some rest. Let's talk about Jussie Smollett. After a three-year delay, this is the trial in Chicago. Jesse was so hot on Empire. Did he lie about being the victim of a racist and homophobic attack? The criminal trial has started. They're looking for jurors. He showed up. Those, there's, there's a thousand of them, the, the, the Smolets. There's a thousand of them. He showed up with his family. He could face one to three years if convicted, but they're saying he most likely will face probation and maybe have to pay fines. Somebody was lying in this case. And those two Nigerian brothers, they're fitting to get on the stand and said that they were told to do this. Somebody was lying. I think at this point, because so much damage has been done to Jesse, to tell the truth, just, just, just be honest. Just be honest. You have nothing to lose at this point. You have absolutely nothing to prove. But somebody, somewhere, this, this story, so tangled, is not telling the truth. On Dion teaming up with Chance the Rapper for a song, you know, when they kind of like got together on social media. She said, I'd love to do a song. The song is entitled Nothing's Impossible. And it's a benefit song that's going to go towards an organization that gives people prepaid meals from local restaurants so that they can be able to have a meal. Barry Gordy, the Motown founder, genius. He turned 92 yesterday. This Sunday, December the 5th, he's going to be honored with a Kennedy Center honor. George Michael, one of the great pop stars of the 80s, when he died, I, oh gosh, I remember that day. Um, was it 2016? It was Christmas Day. You couldn't believe it. George Michael was that guy in the 80s. Tomorrow night, Tuesday on ABC, they're doing the special on George Michael. The rise, the fall, the drugs, the problems. He was so incredible, but he died way too soon. And when he had the songs with Wham, when he came on the music scene, he was definitely that guy. But there's a special coming on tomorrow. I want to take this time to remember composer Stephen Sondheim, 91 years old, known for so many Broadway shows, Tony Award winner. A lot of people are going to be reintroduced to his music via West Side Story. The Steven Spielberg version opens on the 10th, and a lot of people are going to get to hear some of the many songs that he he wrote, but he was a wonderful composer, and he loved the theater and Broadway. We also remember Virgil Abloh, the 41-year-old designer, set the fashion world on its head with work that he did, album covers that he did for rappers, 41 after a private battle with cancer. Um, his work with Louis Vuitton, his work with Off-White, amazing, but he was so young. How about the Soul Train Awards last night? I don't know about you, but I so enjoyed them. I will never make another Ashanti joke ever. I, sa I said that a few months ago after I, after I interviewed her. She could sing. I was like, oh, Ashanti's singing. Dexter, I will do no more, no more Ashanti jokes. Um, they honored her. She got the Lady of Soul. She got... Um, I just think the respect that she's never gotten and 
she had gotten cheating out of songs and just really went through a hard time. So this is good. She is fighting for her music from Irv Gotti. Maxwell was honored last night with a Lifetime Achievement Award. And he's going on a major tour across the country. So it was really good. I loved the new ladies that I saw up there. Ari Lennox. Um, it was good seeing Music Soul Child. Some of the new artists that are coming up. Summer Walker, who looked incredible. Jasmine Sullivan, in her speech, when she said, no more hiding, I, I often say this, a lot of these producers don't know what to do with these women who can really sing. We talk about that, no, we talk about women who can really sing. Jasmine can really sing. And she said, it just felt good to be honored because she felt that a woman with a powerful voice would not make it in this business. So Jasmine Sullivan was a huge winner last night. But the Soul Train Awards are really good. If you missed anything, any highlights, go on YouTube. They got all, like, all the videos, but they did that last night. Sherry Shepard. She's going to be coming back on the Wendy Williams show in December to guest host. But will she take over for the show permanently? No. Producers are kind of like looking at her like, well, if Wendy don't work out, maybe we can get Sherry Shepard because the ratings are great. Sherry wants her own show. She wants to do her own thing in her own shadow. So I do believe that a Sherry Shepard show is coming down the pike, but it's not to replace Wendy Williams. Earlier this year, when Harry and Meghan sat down with Oprah, the explosive interview, and then the revelation, who said, I wonder how dark that kid's going to be? Who said it? Who said it? Who do you think said it? It was Prince Charles who said it. Now, they're the pat, you know, the palace is saying, no, they didn't. He didn't say that. But you knew someone had to say it. And they wouldn't say who it is. And I said, he's got to protect his father. But Prince Charles was wondering eh, when the baby gets here. It's, uh, it's going to get dark. You put it in the sun. It's going to start tanning immediately. Um, it was it was Prince Charles. And they're also saying in this explosive book that Harry and Meghan decided to leave when the Queen had her annual Christmas address in 2019 and had everybody's picture and everybody's baby up there except Harry and Megan's. King Richard, let's talk about the movie, which is really good, by the way, y'all. Didn't do well the box office, cost $50 million to make. So far, it took in $14 million. It's streaming on HBO, but even those numbers weren't, weren't high. It's really good with Will Smith. Um, not everybody is a fan. Richard Williams, and this is what King Richard is based on, his older children are complaining that when he left their family to start a new family with his wife and they went on ahead, Venus and Serena, they were left poor and destitute. So what's happening with Richard Williams now? His health is not good, battling dementia, facing a home in foreclosure. Now you're probably saying, why can't Venus and Serena get that house out of foreclosure? Richard Williams married a much younger woman who I've talked about. She did not love him. She popped out that baby. All she cared about was what she could get. She was way too young for him to be marrying her. She did a scam with this home and taking money out. It was just a mess. And I think they're staying away and letting the home slide into foreclosure because this was all the workings of that young wife. Meanwhile, Richard Williams... His health is not doing well at all. His health is just not, he's just not in a good state. Tuesday, December 7th on NBC, it's going to be the People's Choice Awards. Keenan Thompson is going to be hosting and Halle Berry. She's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. And The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is getting the People's Champion Award. One show that I had a chance, and I'm not just saying this because I love Kevin Hart. True Story on Netflix. Have you guys watched it with him and Wesley Snipes? Totally different from anything I could ever imagine. And to see Kevin in, in, in a way different role than what we have seen him in. It's good. It's you'll it'll be you'll be on the edge of your seat. I don't want to give anything away, but you're gonna be surprised. But 
It's streaming now, two story on Netflix. Stevie J is saying that Faith Evans did not cheat on him. Now, y'all know I can't stand stunts. I hate a stunt. Was it a stunt? Because now we're saying she wasn't cheating, but you went on social media and you tried to embarrass her and people thought you were divorcing. I think she's used to him because she did the... She wasn't even paying him no damn mind. But was it a publicity stunt? But now Stevie J is apologizing, saying that his wife wasn't cheating. Let's get back to Ari Lennox. She was one of the performers on the Soul Train Awards last night. She's topping the, the charts with the song Pressure. She is claiming that she is being held in an Amsterdam jail, the victim of racial profiling. I'm sure she may say more when she gets back to the States, whenever they get her out, but she is a promising young singer. Tiana Taylor, she's married to Iman Shumpert. He won Dancing with the Stars. They have two beautiful kids. She had to be treated for exhaustion because she's doing a lot. She's touring, doing this, doing that, and it's got to take some time off um, to get her health back up. Cardi B, she doesn't have herpes. Cardi B is suing a popular blogger because the blogger said that she had herpes. Well, Cardi had to prove. She had to get the medical records and say, I don't have herpes. She doesn't have herpes. And I'm sure she is really going to go after the blogger for spreading that story. Tonight, Jimmy Fallon has a new show on NBC entitled That's My Jam. Adam Blackstone is the musical director. You got DJ Active. It's a show where celebrities come on and it's a series of music and dance routines that the celebrities do. Tonight, they got Kelly Clarkson, Ariana Grande, but this show is going to debut in January on NBC. Jimmy Fallon, and that's my jam. Ruby D and Ozzy Davis. When you think of this great acting couple, they were married for almost 60 years. When you see someone and they've been married for like a very, very long time, a lot of people assume, oh, their relationship must be perfect. Not hardly. To be in a relationship takes a whole lot of work. And a lot of people were surprised that Ruby D and Ozzy Davis had an open marriage. Yes, they had an open marriage. Now, I don't think it lasted long because they said they wanted to be free with their love. They said lies and deception destroys relationships, not extramarital affairs, and that they could do what they wanted to do long as there was no scandal or disease. Now, this had to have been in the 60s, because you know them diseases start just rolling out and got worse and worse and worse and worse. So, um, to quote from their book, In This Life Together, sex is fine, but love is better. So, it was a period of their marriage where they experimented. Ozzy Davis died in 2005, Ruby D in 2014, from aside from their acting, their their marriage and what they represented with love and not all relationships are perfect. And that's the truth. Get ready for Judge Steve Harvey. I don't care what you say about Steve Harvey. He keep a gig. Steve Harvey will keep a job from here to eternity. His new show on ABC. It debuts January the 4th. January the 4th on ABC, Judge Steve Harvey, where he's the judge, he's the jury, he's everybody. You have people coming in with their cases. Also on that night, January 4th, Abbott Elementary kicks off as well as the final season of Blackish. Blackish returns in January. This is the eighth and final season. Anthony Anderson already has another job. Anthony Anderson is going back to NBC and law in order. Hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video or anything that's going on. Leave a comment. You'll see that Auntie does go through the comments and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. It's not cute not knowing and now you know and today it was a lot. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me. I'm your Auntie of Pop Culture.